All right, so here's a quick little tour of my homemade Kenbeck 1. It's not finished yet, but it's actually completely functional now. So let me go ahead and turn it on. And uh, there we have our automatic reset working. So we can stop the any program, hit clear. And uh, using John Blankenbaker's original documentation, I went ahead and wrote a quick little program here. Uh, this is simply going to count up through the numbers, and it actually has a little delay loop to slow it down. Unlike the original one that ran at uh, sub megahertz speed, uh, actually it ran only about 60 kilohertz, 70 kilohertz roughly, um, this one's actually running at uh, quite a bit faster, clock rate of about 5 megahertz. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and enter our program here, and I'll show you how this thing works. So we'll, we'll hit clear here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the program counter. So that's at address 3, so I've, I've set the address here, we'll clear that out. We're going to put a value of 4 in there, and we're going to write that into this memory. And so uh, when I write that, you saw a little blink over here. Um, so what that did is that set the program counter to 4, uh, which happens to be the next spot in memory. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and enter a really simple program. So the first uh, instruction is 1, 0, 3. Um, and that's actually an, uh, a jump statement. It's actually going to, uh, I'm sorry, not a jump, it's an add statement. Um, add um, the value of, so the one actually in this case happens to be, when we look at our documentation, is the B register. So we're going to add um, some immediate value to the B register. So let's store that. And the value we're going to add to the B register is a one. So we'll store that. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to store the B register in a, uh, an address 200 that actually uh, loads these LEDs up here. Um, so those are at address 200. Uh, so that instruction is 1, 3, 4. And you'll notice that I'm using octal to enter these. So I have uh, three switches, three switches, and two switches. So 1, this is binary 1, this is binary 3, and this is binary 4. We'll go ahead and store that. 1, 3, 4, and we're going to store that at address 200, so 2, 0, 0, and we'll store that. Um, and now I'm just going to go ahead and enter the rest of it. I have another loop in here. This is actually going to be um, 3, so this instruction is 0, 0, 3, which is an, um, basically an immediate um, add of the register A, uh, so we'll store that. And the value we're going to store in register A is a 1. So now that I have that stored, we're going to go ahead and compare register A to 0. We're going to use the instruction 0, 4, 3. Um, and what that's going to do is that's going to compare it to 0, and it's going to jump to an address if it is 0. So right now, it, we added 1. That makes it a 1. So it's going to keep incrementing it. So what I need to do is jump back to address um, 10, so that's 0, 1, 0. We'll store that. And um, that's if it's not 0, it jumps back. And this is just a delay loop to slow the machine down so we can watch it. Uh, and then the last instructions we're going to do is uh, an unconditional jump to reset the whole thing. So an unconditional jump is a 3, 4, 4, save. And we're going to jump back to address 4, save. So now that I have that, I'm going to reset the program counter. So we're going to load the address with a value of 4, and then we're just going to hit Run. And there you can see it's simply counting up in binary. Uh, that 200 instruction is actually loading the display register, which is uh, these bits are tied to memory location 200. So anything I drop into that memory location gets displayed on the screen. Um, so that's a quick little tour of the operation of the Kenbeck one. There's a few other values in here that are kind of interesting. So this is the stop program. This is the run program. You can see when I hit stop and run. And I can even stop and hold down the stop key and hit run at the same time. And that will sing single step instruction. Now in this case, it's in the loop, the delay loop. Um, if I wanted to, I could actually load in register 0 or address 0 or 1 or 2 and display those and we can see what value those are. 
This is write memory, this is read memory, this is set address, and this is read address. So we can clear the screen and hit read, and it'll tell us the current program counter. So it's currently at address 4 right now. And as I execute that, clear it and read it. So we're back to 4 again. So if I just continue to do this, um, we can actually watch it cycle through the program here. So, and then the, this switch up here is actually a, a switch that prevents the memory write from occurring. So it's a, so it's a way to prevent you from accidentally overwriting your program. Um, so it's a nice little safety feature added to it. So that is a quick little tour of my homemade Kenbeck One. Um, everything about this machine is homemade from the circuit board to the switches. These are actually 3D printed on my SLA printer. Um, the, this is laser cut acrylic. This is actually hand cut sheet steel, and I just bent it with a, uh, um, a brake. Uh, 3D printed the end covers here. Um, those should be aluminum. Um, the back of it's the same acrylic, and I have a faceplate I'm actually working on. Uh, but I'm actually going to throw this all, all this case away and start over. Now that I know how to bend the mold, uh, metal and do it correctly, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I think I can make a much higher quality product with it. So anyway, that's my little Kenbeck one. Thanks for watching.